In a world of legendary heroes, one man will rise to take all of the credit. This game has something that no one else will. Me. We go to work, 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 work. This is where the magic happens. Hey, can I get a coffee? I'm coming! Everybody has that game that they fell in love with because they make an impact. Those games were somebody's legacy. Well, this is my legacy. Our legacy. Our legacy, whatever. It's not my legacy. I have a BA in women's studies. What exactly is women's studies? It follows the experiences of women and the contributions they've made to... Inquiry withdrawn. Let's go! Let's go! Quick thing, um, I'm worried about the time. Yeah, David, I'm moving as fast as I can. It's not my fault that these watermelons don't explode like real heads. I can get you real heads. Not human. That's commitment. I built your vision. It's like you're this brilliant painter, and I'm your favorite brush. I'm just some tool to create your masterpiece. I like that metaphor, but it's not quite right, is it? I Are think you seriously you about to noodle on my metaphor right now? Bang, bang, yeah! That I can be difficult. Papa, you can't give up. We're like the Beatles. <laughs> Together, we make masterpieces. I could write the lyrics and the music and everything, but it would sound completely different without the drums. Wait, I'm Ringo? Well, yeah, of course you're Ringo. I mean, look, somebody's gotta keep the beat. Oh my god! At least you brought me breakfast. Oh, this is mine. It's prescription. A prescription bagel? Legally, you're actually not allowed to ask me about Whatever. it. Whatever. Okay, everybody, welcome. This is a special extra Easter egg part of the periodic table of Awesome this week. Now, we've been reviewing Mythic Quest, and we are talking to the one, the only, Mr. John DiMaggio. Hey, hey, there he is. Thank you very much. Right here. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. I miss you guys so much. I miss you guys so much. It has been a long time since we yeah. actually talked to you, because... Yeah. Uh, People may uh, know who've listened to the podcast for a long time. You were on the very first periodic table of awesome <laughs> podcast. I, uh, I I lent you guys a little uh, a little star power. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just me. a little a little bit. And and we have That's been riding the wave of that shit since. And then. now, <laughs> only one hundred and sixty six episodes later, uh, we can finally track you down. That's all right. No, I'm cool with that. Wow, one hundred and sixty seven episodes. Yep. Yeah, this is one hundred and sixty seven. That's, That's fantastic. Yeah, That's so great. Yeah. And, and it's taken us this, actually, no, we have, we've, we've come back to you before because, uh, mm. well, we've, we've, we've looked at your work before. We've looked at this enchantment um, right, right. Uh, and, yeah. and had a bit of a look at that. We also uh, came and watched you doing Adventure Time Live um, a, a That's right. not that long ago. Well, that was a couple of years ago now, wasn't it? It was a couple of years ago. Yeah. But yeah, it was a couple of years ago. That was fun. That was, that, 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 that I think was the last time I was back, uh, back down under. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was oh man. But Every time we, I come hang with you guys, I have the best. I have the best time. Little Jingle Jacks, come on! Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they will, they will just lose their shit when they hear you say their come name on. out Are loud. Are you kidding me? That that bar is awesome. That DJ, forget about it. <laughs> That's an old man bar. That's an old man hip bar. Like get out of the way. I'm so glad you said old man hip bar because I had a brief <laughs> moment of going, oh shit, it's an old man bar. It's no, not no. an old man bar. It's a cool bar. No. It's unfortunately no, it's we can't. Cool. We haven't been able to go for a long time. Um, That's right. But we're, you know, so uh, look, you know, um, what, what, what are we doing? We just finished re um, recording our episode on Mythic Quest, and I have yeah. to say, one of the greatest things uh, that that made the the show. Uh, really connect with me was seeing your face yeah. <laughs> in that show because I didn't actually know beforehand and I kind of try not to read too much into shows before we see them but just to see you turn up and play a character who is you like it's not your voice it's not you're not a robot you're not someone you're not a dog <laughs> yep yeah no I'm, it's just me just me doing my thing and it was funny because like you know I auditioned for it and I got it and it was really cool but they were excited like I found out later that they were excited that they had like a little bit of crossover, uh, you know, like a little bit of crossover um, stuff like with me because, because of my popularity in the video game industry and, mm -hmm. you know, in the subject matter of the show, 
you know, it, it, it lent it a little bit of a legitimacy, you know, I guess in it, a it, funny sort of way, you it know. It gives and, it a nice sort of, kick to have Marcus Phoenix, you know, hidden in there or. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, it's, uh, you know, it's like a three episode uh, Easter egg arc, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it's kind of pretty cool, you know. And they were really great, you know, because they're the guys who, you know, they, they do, uh, it's, you know, it's always sunny in Philadelphia and they're, they're, they're funny as hell and. And it was great. And and Charlotte was great. Charlotte's awesome. She's totally cool. Yeah, you we, we're very proud of her. Working on the show. She's fucking great. She was such a sweetheart and she was wonderful to work with. And, and uh, it was great yeah. to, as we said, it was great to hear a, a real Australian accent properly <laughs> by an Australian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> on a show. Any Americans. No, <laughs> no, no, no Americans doing any Aussie accents, please. I, I mean, even, there's... What? How many seasons of uh, of Star Wars, Clone Wars, and stuff where an American is doing a weird semi-Australian, semi-New Zealandish accent, and we're all just like, "Oh no, please!" Yeah, <laughs> you're from fifteen miles, fifteen hundred miles out from both of us. You're in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> what is it? Mid good. Mid Atlantic? Isn't that the yeah. the, the yeah. accent? It's Mid, mid, mid Atlantic. Uh, it's Mid Pacific. Yeah, Mid Pacific. <laughs> <It's> South Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> not really New Zealand, and you're not really Australian, so I guess you're <laughs> Cook in Island know, in the water. <laughs> South <laughs> drowning, yes. South Antarctic, not like, not drowning, North waving. Antarctic accent. not drowning. That, ac just that waving. accent, that accent, you might as well be going. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been the entire Star Wars series. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> So, so John, you've worked a lot as a voice actor, at, 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 like in a lot of video games. Um, the world of Mythic Quest that we see, it, how much does that kind of line up with your experience of the industry? Because like in that show, it's a pretty batshit crazy version of the gaming industry. Yeah, it's a very exaggerated, I'd say it's exaggerated. Right. Um, to, to, to the, you know, to the full, fullest extent of comedy, it is exaggerated. <laughs> Um, but what's interesting is that they kind of have the, they, they it, it looks like that, you know, those places, they look like that, like the place they, that, that they had me working, that's what they look like. They totally look like that. And, and, and also their offices look like that. I mean, it's pretty interesting. Um, you know, I mean, sure. You get some people, some, some guys that are a little, a little bit flamboyant, um, but not their egos are it's it's not like that like like i mean shit with the gears of war franchise and how it started at at, at epic games and, and cliff Wazinski and he was a he was a wonder kind and uh made a ton of money and like literally like sold it off and like made a bunch of money and and i mean like i couldn't compare because he's like philanthropic he's fucking producing broadway shows and shit like oh wow <laughs> you know, yeah so like you know it's weird like it's not I don't know. It's really kind of an over the top sort of, you know, yeah. Cause that's view a, of it. That's it. It's like, it's an interesting thing that you, uh, you're playing a character that I would consider against type for you yeah. as a, as a, yeah. as a person. And also you're playing, a, you're playing the opposite, the sort of the polar opposite of Iron um, Grimm. Like, right. He, here's a studio that's kind of insane and batshit crazy and where all the comedy is coming from. And then in you roll as your character, Dan Williams, who is just a really normal person who has Handling real business. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, I'm just going to play it normal. Yeah. I mean, you know what? It's, it's funny because, you know, you, you have all that information that you have, you know, the exposition in those, in the, in that dialogue, like mm. I have to, so there's no room for like, you know, Hey, I'm going to punch this up with some wacky doodles. You know, it's like, <laughs> there, there's no, you know, it's like one thing for one thing, I got to fucking remember it. So it's just like, I don't, and you know me and fucking me and my fucking. <laughs> so I'm already having a tough fucking time trying to remember this part of stuff. And it's all, it's all exposition. Holy shit. So funny, um, no. But those guys. I mean, it, it was it was a lot of it was a lot of fun, and it was it it's funny because people tend to see me over the top and and loud and and gregarious and and I have and no idea why. With this with this with this thing, I had to play it straight, and that's really fun when I surprise people because they go, "I didn't know you could calm down that much." <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of my thing. I was watching it going. I haven't met that John. 
Yeah. <laughs> when does he get a snap? Yeah. Yeah. And, and especially with the rest of the show, you kind of feel like, is there going to be a, a moment where, where Dan suddenly snaps and you realize, hang on, no, he's just as bad as the rest. But uh, they haven't told me and who knows they got a, they got another season coming up and they might be bringing me back i have no idea so we'll see what happens well fingers crossed cuz there's also another there's another episode coming out real soon yeah um yeah i think so yeah like a, like a there's quarantine a, one or something yeah that's the one yeah that's the one they ordered <laughs> it's so genius because it's an apple show so they went ahead and said, give, if you can put us, you know, we'll do a quarantine episode. If you can give us like 60 phones, 60 iPhones and, and, uh, and 40 uh, headsets, like 40, you know, AirPods. He was like, can you do that? And she's just like, they're already in Los Angeles. They're coming to you now. And it's just like, <laughs> bam, they had, they started it. And, and they also did an iPhone episode, I think, on It's Always Sunny. So okay. they kind of had a jump start on how to get stuff done but that's, you know that's, that's with the, the way like, i mean with everyone now working from home and zoom meetings everywhere you know hello yeah. uh what a great uh, amount of comedy to, to mine out of that which is, is like here have another zoom meeting it's like again okay fine. yeah I mean, you know but but they had they had to they had to take it to the next level it's gonna be great you're gonna love it it's really it's really something it's that's it's uh it's it's so it's apparently apparently it's so good. I haven't seen it yet. Apparently it's so good that they're submitting it for the Emmy, Holy and shit. they're thinking oh, wow. of doing they're, they're thinking of doing a couple more. So, yeah, that's awesome. probably all they can do at the moment. <laughs> I mean, pretty much. I mean, listen, the, the whole everything has changed. Yeah. There's, I mean, listen, um, backstage or in a green room or something like that, buffets of food. That shit's gone, done. Yeah. That's it. No. <laughs> Like in any kind of green rooms, sort of food stuffs or any gone history. Um, so craft people, services is dead as an industry. The now. craft services is pretty much it's pretty much done. There's nothing you know, sure. there's nothing you can do unless like you have somebody taking orders for people and then doing it that way. Like I guess I mean, but like it just it's just crazy. Like how do you shoot a love scene? You know, like they say like <laughs> the, the coronavirus. Like they say like if you speak a lot, like if you speak loudly or in a closed area and you have it, those droplets will get everywhere as opposed to you just, you know, being in the room. Well, maybe just George not Lucas saying anything. Maybe George Lucas was ahead of his time by just making everyone act on an empty green screen stage and they just <laughs> assemble it later. <laughs> I mean shit. You know? I mean uh, listen, uh, we're I'm gonna we're do gonna my first green screen out. scene of love. Uh, Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> now, Dion, if you could just add your bits in, that'd be amazing. Oh, oh okay. Let's see. Uh, Let's see. Uh, green, uh, green screen <laughs> porn. Green screen Holy porn. shit! That's it's gonna happen. I. It's it's gonna terrifying be because masks. I think it's holes in masks. It's gonna be like, why are you wearing the mask? <laughs> I don't know. Again, mock, 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 mock. Speaking of, listen, Quinny, stop laughing. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is wrong with the, the ads that you're getting sent on either Facebook or what? What are those ads? What the hell are wish. Are you talking about uh, Quinny's, Quinny's wish? I don't think we've actually done that on periodic table. But no, Quinny, we've never I don't care. I'm doing it. I'm bringing Quinny, it up because Quinny, I'm your friend. I need Quinny to gets some weird like, shit advertised to him and he started putting them all out on his uh, social media. It's like, and it's usually, it's, what is it? Wish the fuck Wednesday it used yep. to be? Yeah, it, it oh, means as like, much as possible. Um, but there's so, like, I mean, how many how many pairs of crotchless pants can this fucking organization sell? <laughs> I, apparently, and, a lot. And why are they I marketing mean, them all to you? Yeah. What are you buying, Quinny? Nothing. Buy? I buy that's toys. The, that's the beauty of it. You're not buying anything. You're not buying anything, and they're just like crotchless pants. <laughs> You want some crotchless pants? Hey, it looks like you want a dildo that goes three ways and is also a sprinkler. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> slow down. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> 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 
Dude, uh, you put up one on. just yesterday, which is just a picture of two guys both wearing a towel, opening up towards each other and looking at each other's crotches, and it just said nine dollars. <laughs> it just said nine dollars, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> now I want, I want to know: is it is it a poster? Is it a, a service they're offering? <laughs> is it is it just you know Thursday night for the people that wish? Who knows? Yeah. Uh, you don't know. But, but for nine dollars, the... you got to roll that dice. <laughs> yeah, no, I do it. I uh, there was no, one, I think it was last week, uh, there was a, an actual earth mover, like a, like a full-size earth mover for $8,000. And I'm like, I wouldn't buy that from which. Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. And I, but then I kind of looked at it and I went, is it an earth mover or is it just a scale model of an earth mover? Oh, my God. And are they still charging $8,500 for it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So, is it a Hot Wheels? Is it a Matchbox? Those is, it, is, it, is, it, is it four foot long and that's but fully articulate? Who knows? Who knows? Oh, man. It, is, it is my great joy because I just remember, like, I think it was about a year and a half ago or something like that. I, one of these things came up and I went, what the fuck is that? It was, it was a body bag. It was a body bag, but it was clearly meant to be kind of a sexy body bag. Whatever the fuck a sexy bag. a body sexy. bag, Quinny? And so I asked the world, what the fuck? Wish, who do you think I am? What are you selling to me? And then suddenly that was sort of like this, this steamroller of just weird shit. Well, that's the funniest thing ever. I love it. I, I, it, cra- it cracks me up. It is, more, it is my more, joy to give it to the world. The, the, the more awkward pictures of people wearing crotchless panties <laughs> and pants, mostly, ju- mostly j- jumpsuits. Yeah, like jumpsuits yeah, yeah. and mm. and like weird sweatsuits that are mesh. Yeah, that yeah. No, no crotch. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Give me it's a pair. A crotchless, of and and the great thing is, in isolation, nobody knows if you're wearing crotchless or not. That's it. I could be That's wearing it. crotchless right now. Wouldn't it be Wouldn't it be hilarious if I just got up and just like, see you later, and like turned around <laughs> and, that way and I was like, wear, no, not wearing pants, and like my ass was like just walking away. I, you know what? Like totally, it, I, I'm doing this interview shirt cocking it. What's going on there, fellas? <laughs> I can cut the shirt on and cock out. Um, <laughs> I was going to ask you how's isolation treating you, but I think we know. <laughs> I got my shirt on and my cock out. Quinny, that's how fucking isolation's treating me. Sorry. Uh, it's okay. You know what's funny? Um, we, we've been cooking a lot of our own food, and we yeah. figured out that we cook a lot better than than most restaurants. What are you cooking? Like, what's, what's your, what's your go-to everything. dish? All kinds of shit. We, tonight, some friends of ours, some dear friends of ours from New York, they sent us a thing from this place called Russ and Daughters. And it's like this- I've been to Russ and Daughters. Russ and Daughters. I've been and there, it's, it's great. It's, oh my God, it's at the fish joint. It's got yeah. all the smoked fish and it's yeah. like, well, they sent us a big care package with bagels and cream cheese and, and all oh. sorts of smoked fish and, and, and caviar. They fucking got oh. us caviar. So we're gonna so have they sent you fish from New York. I hope it was express posted. Oh yeah, oh no, was, uh, <laughs> they sent it about four weeks ago. <laughs> it showed up warm. <laughs> And in related news, John DiMaggio died today after Sal Manila ate his entire head. <laughs> uh, but no, it, it's uh, but it's incredible. Like sable and Scottish salmon, and uh, oh my god, so good, crazy, oh, crazy, crazy so, smoked so fish. But the, let, let's come back just briefly to to, to Mythic Quest and, and games. When you're working like games, is it harder than doing normal animation? Like, because it seems like. I don't know. Yeah. There's a lot more. A lot more. No, no. no. More. Listen, the, the 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 what you have to do for a 22 minute episode of a cartoon, or in some cases 11, you know, because they do half. They do half that. Mm-hmm. You know, they do like you know, like the adventure two, timelines for sure. Two and one half hour. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, it, the 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 a video game, you might be doing two four hour sessions, um, in a day, and we're talking about all the death stuff, the screaming stuff. Oh. You're talking over, you're talking over effects. Like they're, t- they're telling you like, you're jumping out of the helicopter and giving orders like, okay, you know, Oh my God, you know, there, there's, there's, uh, there's bombs going off around you. You got to yell above that. Like, you know, um, you know, death, death, 
cry this that the other. Uh, yeah. you know and it just tears you up like you just torn up and uh could and... you please cough 16 different ways exactly <laughs> but, the, but also can you cough turning left yeah i mean <laughs> the, exactly the dialogue you're just like okay let's make a left okay let's keep straight okay let's make a right okay let's turn around okay let's you know that, you know, let's go up, let's go down, let's go just with that, whatever, you know, north, northeast. God, oh my God, if you have some kind of uh, game that has a compass or something like that, uh. like whatever directional, forget it. You're going north, northeast, 16 degree, whatever. You have to, <laughs> all that shit has to, you know, you have to fill out all the information oh, and, of, the, of the video game. So it's just like, you know, it's fucking, holy shit. And not it's sound hard. bored. <laughs> No, yeah, and not sound bored and have it sound like, you know, like it's the first and only time you've ever done it, you know? Yeah. So, so how are you going, like, with recording? Are you working from home? Like, is that, is that where you're at now? Right now, yeah, right now, I mean, I've been, um, there, was a, there were a couple of things that I did that uh, I'm not going to mention. Oh. But I went to, a, I did go to a studio, and it was handled really, really well, and we totally social distance, distanced, and... Um, and it was very clean and it was, it, had, it just had to be done. That's the deadline, good, deadline needed to be taken care of. And like, you know, the, the, I mean like the studio had a separate entrance, you know oh, what wow. I mean? Like, you know, straight from the parking lot, like, you know, um, but other stuff, I mean, I've been doing stuff over zoom. Um, yeah. There's a great, uh, there's a great app on, um, uh, you know, free, free uh, iPhone, Android and stuff like that. It's called a uh, voice record pro uh, seven. And um, it's really great. And so it, it like to the point where it's actually like workable on nah, a professional it's, it's level. Gonna, it's, listen, we're going to have to go. Everybody's going to have to go in and do that stuff again. Like, you know, for the most part. Right. Okay. Um, but, you know, but listen, some people have uh, studios that are up to par and know how to do that stuff. Me? <laughs> <laughs> You just I'm like I'm like that's a microphone turn on <laughs> John just John, forget it just yes just talk into it good good job John put it into the tube John talk I into the, the tube microphone in my pants like no John no can you hear it's me Clint your... Fandango yeah exactly just forget it but yeah but it's all you know but listen it's uh it's it's all good at least I'm able to get um I'm able to get some some stuff that they can work with that they can animate to, so it's all ADR. Right. And, you know, we'll, we'll all have to do it in ADR, and those ADR sessions will be tough. But you know what? Um, at least it'll be me. I'll know what's going on. I'll know where my head was at when I recorded it. And it's we'll see not like you trying to do like anime style, you know, matching the flaps or anything like that. Yeah. I mean, listen. I mean, we have to do ADR for most stuff anyway, so you have to learn how to match flaps. Like that's the thing. Like, you you have to know how to match flaps when you're doing when you're doing VO. So, you know, I, I mean, I, which sounds really, which sounds really offensive. It, it does, but it's. I'm gonna match your flaps. <laughs> Ew, gross. Um, hey Dion, to... you want to do some? Do you want to do some flap matching? Uh, okay then. How do I do this? <laughs> ah, <Should> match some. <laughs> Don't don't do the nice. thing with the mouth. Nice, <laughs> a lot of nice job, That was pretty impressive. Like I, I went to the scary, dentist dude. yesterday, and I'm pretty sure yeah. she did that to me just then. I live in Kings oh, Cross. Man. I know how to do this. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh. I live near. I live near the naval base. It's fine. <laughs> Anzac Day is a bitch. I tell you that much. <laughs> I just found out what the village people were about, and I am shocked. I tell you, shocked. Oh, oh Jesus! Really? <laughs> YMCA. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Confetti. confetti. Um. Anyway. <laughs> Listen. Oh this. man. So, so do you find it difficult sometimes having to kind of tone it down a little bit? Do you find yourself fighting the urge to be a little more I and a little less Dan? Um, you know, it really takes me, it really takes me a lot to like calm down and, and, and have that. There's a lot of concentrating that I do on set. I'm kind of just like, I'm kind of just like, okay, I got to step away. I'm going to think about this. I'm going to do this. Gonna, and I, I really try to be, as prepared as possible and not like not in like you know 
hey, check it, I'm about to be, hey, we're going to shoot, bang, here we go, man. No, it's, it's like, I'm just like trying to, trying to get it right. I'm trying to get it so that, you know, we don't have to do it again. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's I'm, trying thing, to keep, I'm trying to get the crew home. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's kind of. It's pretty amazing. I mean, you're working with Australia's Charlotte McDowell, who, uh, you know, we haven't seen too much of her in Australia. Like, of course, an Australian has to go to America in order to get recognized. And she plays a, like a great character in Mythic Quest. I think it's mainly about her. And her thing is she's the one who has to lose control most. And so it was a really interesting kind of opposite to see you sitting there playing the calm one against her, who's just losing her mind most of the time. And I wonder, like, does that did that switch off camera? And you're like, well, actually, I'm like this way, and she's probably the real. You know, my wife, my my wife watched, and she's like, why can't you be like that with me? (laughs) (laughs) No, it's just no. Listen, it's just it's it's funny because um, I don't know. It's just I, I I I guess. I mean, you know, we just, it, it just, it's, it, when you, when you get offered something and they tell you to do, you play it a certain way, that's just like, I'm not going to, I mean, unless I really have a great idea to do something different, then, then I'm not going to fuck with it. I'm just going to yeah, do, do what I'm told and, and try and just, you know, just yeah. lay it down. Lay it down. <laughs> lay it down. <laughs> Sorry. Jesus no. Christ. <laughs> so one, one last thing before we wrap up uh where are we at with disenchantment um we we saw you know disenchantment uh, sort of season one and season two but they're kind of one season it's kind of one season like yeah but they listen netflix the netflix's thing is just like 10 episodes a season so whatever <laughs> man it's just i think there's 20 more coming out yeah right. i don't so know I, when <laughs> but we're doing them we're doing them now Oh, okay. um, and it is exciting. I'm really thrilled. It's really yeah. fun. I still can't believe I'm doing it. I'm doing my my second Mac Raining cartoon. I mean, yeah. but then again, you could kind of say it's my third because I did appear on The Simpsons. So it's like ridiculous. Like, <laughs> I'm still in shock. I'm still, I still can't believe that, you know. And we have a lot of fun. And the character is based on, you know, the, the guy, partially the guy who was the inspiration for Mo and Bart. Um, you know, the the... Yeah, at the bar, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it, it, it was called the two bar tapes and it's the guy's name is Red and he's, you know, you know hello, where's my father? Your father? Yeah, your father. Yeah, your father's in your mother's asshole. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking bum. And he hangs up the phone. Like it was this, it was this guy that was getting prank called. I know. <laughs> My wife is like, it's been almost 45 minutes. You're telling the goddamn red story again. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, check out red, the tube bar tapes. That's, okay. that's, that's King Zog, like in a nutshell, <laughs> with a little bit of Archie Bunker and stuff. In it. Amazing. It's, I mean, I just love it. It's just great. And I'm excited. And then there's some more Adventure Time stuff coming out on HBO Max, which is really oh. cool. Ooh. So. That is very exciting. I, I thought that we'd, we'd kind of done with Adventure Time, but that's exciting to have it coming back, man. Me too. <laughs> me too. I came back and paid me more money. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to do the dog thing. All right, give me a little money. All right, we'll give you some money. I'll give you a dog. Go. Excellent. Here you go. Pay for the, pay for the house. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. Beautiful. We have been going for 45 minutes, so we should let you go and do your, your uh, sous vide chefing and cooking and all of that kind of stuff. Nice. Yeah. I love yeah. you guys. I miss you guys. I can't wait to see you guys. We yeah. love you. Yeah, yeah. no, stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on a second. My wife was in the room and she just came in from the pool. And she's kind of naked. I got to go. I, was, I got to go. She's like, fuck. She's got to leave. <laughs> Bye. I love bye, you bye. guys. Bye, Johnny. Bye. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Well, that was the one, the only John DiMaggio. And now we're going to send you right on back to more Mythic Quest.